What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Sports Talk Buffalo. In this video, we're going to talk about the three things I am most worried about heading into the 2021 Buffalo Bills season. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. We talk Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Sabres, and the University at Buffalo men's basketball and football teams right here on this channel. So let's jump right into things. These are the three things that I am most worried about heading into the 2021 Buffalo Bills season. The first thing is clearly the Buffalo Bills run game. Now, the Buffalo Bills were far, far too one-dimensional in the 2020 season. It was very clear that the Bills were a pass-first team. And even though they saw a ton of success, it's going to be a big key, in my opinion, for the Buffalo Bills to continue that success moving forward in the 2021 season and to continue to be a Super Bowl contender for them to establish a run game. Now, teams will inevitably start to game plan around the Buffalo Bills passing game. They are almost going to essentially dare the Buffalo Bills to run the ball this upcoming season, and the offensive line and running backs are going to have to do a far greater job in this upcoming season if the Bills want to see continued success. The Bills' leading rusher was just Devin Singletary. Now, Devin Singletary had just 687 yards and two touchdowns on the season. If you take And if you take out the 102 carries and 421 yards by Josh Allen. The Buffalo Bills running backs had just 1,473 yards. That's just 92 yards per game coming from their running backs. And 344 carries spread out over the 16-game season, and that equates to just three or just 21 and a half carries per game for the running backs. Now, obviously, Josh Allen's legs are a major, major weapon. However, I think the Bills utilized him a little bit too much in the run game last year, mainly because their run game with their running backs was struggling so much. And with Allen likely to get a very, very big contract, he is the franchise quarterback that we have all been waiting for here in Buffalo. It would be wise to make sure we limit the amount of physical punishment that Josh Allen takes in this upcoming season and for seasons beyond. The reason why I say the Bills need to run the ball better, obviously passing the ball is way more exciting. The Bills put up a ton of points in a lot of games, and it was super fun to watch. However, the Bills need to run the ball better next season because they need they have to continue to utilize the play action. Teams are not going to fall for linebackers, and, and DBs are not going to fall for play action. If you're dropping back to pass, you know, three out of every four plays that you have. So the Buffalo Bills in order to keep a more balanced and and, uh, wide open playbook, are going to need to establish the run game this upcoming season. Another thing for the Bills is that it will help them to control the game. It will help you control the game if you can control the ball, obviously. But the Bills had a couple of times where it's three and outs and against really good teams, the quick three and outs, it doesn't take a whole lot of time off the clock. It doesn't give your defense a whole lot of time to rest. And you're putting the ball right back into the opposing offense's hands very, very quickly. And all of those things together are very big problems, especially when you play teams like Kansas City, when you want to limit the amount of times that Patrick Mahomes touches that ball. So the Bills definitely need to work on their running game heading into the 2021 season. It will also help them close out games early, middle, and late of the year. Of course, the Bills won a lot of close games last year, but the Bills could potentially 
you know, run out the clock and not have to worry about going, uh, uh, you know, three and out with their run game. They have to be able to run the ball when the other team knows they are going to run the ball. And that was a big weakness for the 13-3 and three Buffalo Bills last year. I know we are nitpicking at this point heading into this season. However, it is a very big deal if you want to continue and, and sustain the success that Buffalo Bills fans have been longing for. The second thing that I am worried about heading into the 2021 season is the Bills' defense, their entire defense. Now, while the Bills' defense did play better towards the end of the year last year, uh, they still, if if they, the Bills' record-setting offense does has any sort of regression, which, of course, it probably will have some sort of regression this upcoming season, it is going to put a lot of more stress on the defense to be able to make plays. And they ranked in the middle of the league or below in several defensive categories last season. The Bills, in terms of passing, were 16th, in completion percentage against, 13th in passing yards allowed. They allowed 3,726 yards to opposing quarterbacks. And they didn't address the cornerback or the CB2 position. Obviously, the second cornerback opposite of Trey White. Now, they may believe it could be uh, Levi Wallace, who did have a fairly solid season, or they could really believe in their seventh round, I believe his sixth or seventh round draft pick, Dane Jackson, I think his sixth round draft pick, Dane Jackson, who came in last season and looked great in his very limited playing time, had an interception, he looked very strong, and are they expecting him to have a very solid second season, sophomore season? I don't know, but those were areas that the Bills definitely needed to improve on, and their biggest concern on defense by far is their run defense, of course, as the Bills' defense ranked 17th in rushing yards against, 25th in yards per carry, and they gave up a staggering 11 carries of over 20 yards, which ranked them 22nd in the league. Uh, now, they do get back uh, defensive tackle star Latulale, uh, but I don't know if that is that in and of itself is going to be enough. They didn't do... Obviously, they added a couple pass rushers in Boogie Basham and uh, Gregory Russo, but did they do enough in the interior of the defensive line in order for them to really make a difference when they are faced with a team that likes to grind it out and pound the ball down your throat. Now, the third thing that I am worried about heading into the 2021 season for the Buffalo Bills is incredibly high expectations. Now, that might seem kind of silly, but the Buffalo Bills, for the as long as I could remember realistically haven't had very high expectations. Now, a lot of people might have had high expectations after the 10-6 and six year where they made the playoffs and lost a, an absolute heartbreaker to the Texans. However, they have never really been on the very top of the hill. And the Buffalo Bills now are being talked about as one of the premier teams in the entire NFL. And this puts them in the national spotlight week after week after week after week. Can the Bills, players, front office, can, can, can the whole team, can the organization withstand that national spotlight? They have four primetime games this season. Four. When in most seasons, the Bills would be happy with one primetime game. That is a big thing for the Bills this upcoming season. Nobody talks a lot about it, but it kind of encompasses and this high expectations is Josh Allen, is he going to be too overzealous? It was obviously announced that the Bills are allowed to have 100% capacity at Highmark Stadium, but that could pose a problem as Josh Allen tends to get overhyped and tends to, you know, 
play a little bit, I don't want to say hero ball, but play a little bit reckless at times because he is so hyped up, because he wants to win so badly. Is that going to be a problem for the Buffalo Bills? Teams will be more prepared than ever to bring their best against Buffalo this upcoming season. There's no question about it. The Bills made the AFC Championship game and took on a juggernaut of a team in the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Bills are arguably one of the best teams, probably one of the best three to four teams in the entire NFL. But can they sustain it? Can they keep going? That is a thing that we haven't seen in Buffalo for a very, very long time, sustained success. Can they handle the pressure? Can they handle the expectations of being good? The Bills won't be able to just be come in and not have their A game on any given week because the other team coming in knows what the Bills are capable of and they will give the Buffalo Bills their absolute best every single week without question. As a fan, we didn't know, uh, we don't know what it's like to be the big dog in the NFL. We don't know because we haven't been the big dogs in the NFL since the early and mid 90s. We haven't been the big dog on the block. So, can the, can the organization withstand all that pressure? I do believe they have the right people in place to be able to withstand that pressure, but only time will tell with this upcoming season. But that's it for this video, guys. What else am I missing? Am I missing any other, are there any other worries that you guys have? Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. I do try to answer every single comment that I have to the new subscribers that subscribed to me on the last video. Thank you guys very much. We are growing this thing. It is a slow but sure process, of course, and I'm trying to get better and better as this thing goes on. Thank you guys for all your support. I absolutely appreciate it 100%. You can follow me on Twitter at SportstalkBuff1. You can email me at SportstalkBuffalo at Yahoo.com or at SportstalkBuffalo at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic week.